Okay, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Appreciate you coming out. My name is Rick Ennis. I uh, have the privilege and the honor of being the fire chief for the city of Cape Girardeau for the last 13 years. Um, I would like to, on behalf of the city and on behalf of the, all the members of the fire department, uh, welcome you all to the second leg of the city of Cape Girardeau's Cake Fest today. Um, and it's a, uh, it's a great day. For the city of Cape Girardeau, we're excited uh, to share this day with uh, with our colleagues down at the airport. Uh, and the exciting news that uh, they they had already the, the, today, uh, we're excited to be a part of that, and uh, am glad that we are able to provide the services needed to ramp that airport up, uh, not only for the benefit of the city but for, for the benefit of the region. So this is a great day for the city. We're glad to be part of it. And uh, we're going to start off with the program real quick here, and I'm going to, without further ado, introduce a man that needs no introduction. Uh, in his eighth year, winding down. Winding what a what a great way to wind line. what a great way to wind it down, though. So, Mayor Harry Red, Harry Rediger. So I was at the airport uh, at noon, and the and the fire department had water cannons. Uh, we're getting the plane in, but no water cannons over Lexington? Today? Oh, okay, well, I, I, I didn't know. Okay. What a beautiful day. Thanks to everyone for being here uh, on this great day as we celebrate New Fire Station 4. Let me take you back to 1980. Fire Station 1. First of the new. Uh, 1990, Fire Station 2, South Mount Auburn. Uh, 2004, North Sprig, Fire Station 3. Uh, we still had one antiquated Curry Lane Fire Station. If you drove by, you don't know how a truck got in there. But 2017, on this first day of December, look at what you're looking at today. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, some re redo renovations of uh, the other fire stations also. And at Fire Station 2, uh, behind it, a new building uh, dedicated to uh, maintenance. Uh, never had any space dedicated to maintenance of uh, our fire uh, equipment. So it is a great day. These are possibilities that were given to us, entrusted to us, by the citizens and the voters of Cape Girardeau. So it's about all of these improvements, all of these new fire trucks, all new fire trucks this year, were through a vote of the fire tax, public safety, that were given to us by the citizens of Cape Girardeau. Our citizens have been very, very good uh, to all of us here, and it's for all of our citizens. Uh, so as we, uh, we are now state-of-the-art, new uh, throughout with infrastructure of fire, uh, police will be coming along in March, all new fire uh, uh, trucks, um, newer equipment, and a state-of-the-art state-of-the-art staff uh, led by city manager Scott Meyer and I'm gonna have Scott come up now and um, he's got some thank yous to give but I just wanted to say thank you to um, all of our staff but particularly to the citizens of Cape Girardeau who mean so much to us and there's there's more coming we've got more plans as we move forward into next year with PRS We've got so much work to do on our streets, but this is today is all about um, fire, and it's just a thrill to leave Curry Lane behind and come to where we are today, standing in front of Fire Station 4 on Lexington. Uh, so I'll bring to you Scott Meyer. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, just want to point out a couple of things uh, uh, on the fire tax. Uh, just want to say thank you to our our fire department. You know, we're one 
one team when it comes to fire tax. It's a fire tax. It has to be used on fire. So when when we passed the first fire tax, when we passed the second fire tax, we had to to say, well, we're going to do this, and then we're going to free up money with fire to also do other things. And so I want to recognize the fact that fire is a team player in that, and that they they were okay with going to a public safety trust fund to do the things that we promised voters we would do if we passed that tax. And so that's I want to thank them for being team players in that. That's not always easy, but uh, but they did that, and we want to want to appreciate them for that. So if you'd help me appreciate them, I'd appreciate it. Secondly, I think uh, we have some citizens that have come up along uh, public safety, uh, the, the friends of public safety. Uh, many of them are here today, and we want to thank them. They're the ones that have, that have supported public safety, both uh, fire and police, and they've supported this tax. They help get voters out uh, for the tax. And so if you're a part of that friends of public safety, I'd like you to, to raise your hand and be recognized, because we would like to recognize you. Come on, I know you... Next, we'd like to thank the neighborhood. We, we bought this property a long uh, time ago. The, the, the city officials prior to my coming here nine years ago uh, had farsightedness and our, our chief said, hey, this is a good place for a future fire station. And, uh, and they bought this. And then since then, the neighborhood has built up around it. And so uh, when it came time and ready to, to us to build the station, we. Uh, had meetings and they came and said hey we would kind of like it to look like this and and had that but now then we're going to become part of their neighborhood just like we did in Curry Lane where where we become and ever all of our stations become a part of the fabric of the neighborhood well now we've become part of this neighborhood and we look forward to that relationship but we, we uh, do want to appreciate the neighbors who who have taken us in and have already uh, you know put up with us a little bit we're trying to dial in our uh, the, the loudness of the speakers and things like that and, and the screening and so we want to thank them for for being a, a part of that uh, lastly we want to thank uh, our, our firefighters and their families and and uh, firefighters are in their uniforms but if you're part of the, the firefighters or their family I want you to raise your hand today We owe you a great deal of, of uh, gratitude for your service to our city uh, and, and for your family service to your city. Fire is a little different, isn't it? it you know, you, you come to work, but then you also, uh, you're here for long periods of time. They, they, uh, they become kind of their own family too, but uh, the families are impacted a little differently than, than the rest of our staff is. And so we want to appreciate them and, and hope that they will make this part of their new home because it really is not just work, it's home for them. And so we, we hope they'll find this to be a home that, uh, that, that where they can build memories as they have in the, in the Curry Lane location uh, as well. So thank, thanks to them and thanks uh, to all of them. Uh, <clears throat> lastly, uh, I want to uh, turn over the podium to Phil Penzel. Uh, Phil and, and Penzel Construction uh, bid this. It's a design build, so it's uh, I think it was our second or third foray into uh, design build for the city. And uh, the Penzel company partnered with their partners, and he'll recognize them. But but I'll tell you, it's a, it's great to have a local partner that is is so vested. I was talking to Phil in the in the hall as at City Hall uh, a week or so ago, and he was telling me about the things that that he was excited about with this, and some of the things that didn't meet his 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 standard I and mean, even though probably they you know we could have had an argument about whether or not they're they they met the standard and they need to replace them he said no i'm replacing them because because that's my fire station that's that's what i'm going to tell people i i built that and that's the kind of company that that phil runs and that's the kind of ownership that he has no, no matter where he builds it but here close to home we kind of feel like we have a little special relationship so if you'll welcome phil penzel he'll come up and talk Scott. Good afternoon. On behalf of Pencil Construction, our employees, our design team, our subcontractors and material suppliers, 
we want to congratulate the city of Cape Girardeau, Mayor Rediger, and the city hall and the city uh, council, Scott Meyer, Molly Maynor, Anna Kangas, and the rest of the staff on the dedication of their new firehouse number four facility. Hensel Construction is very proud to have been the design build contractor for this facility. And we thank you for the having confidence in us and allowing us the opportunity to design and build this facility. And like he mentioned, this is our second facility for the city of Cape Girardeau and and we thank you for the confidence in us. I especially want to thank the city for keeping this project local and recognizing that every dollar spent on this project will be recirculated back into the local economy. That's very important. I want to give a very special thanks to Chief Ennis and to Chief Hashider and the rest of the firefighter crew, especially the building committee. You all were right there in the trenches with us the whole way and keep uh, helping us to convert your vision into reality. We sincerely hope that we have not let you down in any way. This could not have happened without the professionalism and the attention to detail of our employees, our design team, our subcontractors and material suppliers. I would like to publicly recognize all of them when I mention your company name or your name, please wave your hand real big so everybody can see you. First and foremost, David Marigo, where are you? He's our project superintendent for this project. He lived here for the last year. Travis Roth, project manager. He kept Dave in line for the last year. Moving into our design team, uh, who could not make it here today was FGM Architects and, and uh, Brian Wright, but we do have uh, Dilly Traxel Architecture. Uh, who all do we have here? We got uh, Ben, we got uh, Brett there in the back, Mike. Uh, they were the architect for this project. Uh, Civil engineer was Kaler Engineering. Chris had to dart out and head south for some reason, uh, but he was here just a few minutes ago. Uh, structural engineer was ASDG. Strickland Engineering was the mechanical and electrical engineer, Mark Strickland. The supplier of the structure was Newcore Building Systems, uh, Mike Ellis. The director for the building was Grover Mays Construction. He could not make it. Uh, mechanical or plumbing contractor was GWS. Kenny, way back to that. <laughs> Roofing contractor was Riverside Roofing. Over here. Painting was Hotop Painting. In the middle. Electrical contractor was KT Power System. Mechanical contractor was Associated Sheet Metal, Brian Peter. Masonry contractor was Festi Masonry. Uh, drywall contractor, Interior Plus. The flat work contractor was Fronberger Concreters. Cabinetry was by S&W Cabinets. I think I saw Steve. And then uh, fencing was Boot Hill Fence. Fire Protection, Premier Fire Protection, Danny Wagner. Doors, hardware, windows, uh, Cape Paint and Glass. Flooring was Rosherity Floor Covering. And uh, insulation was KNF Insulation. The overhead doors behind us uh, is uh, Perryville overhead door. 
Doug Schramm. One final thing, we are very proud to say that this building was construction was constructed 100% American made. And with at least 85% of the steel in this building being recycled, so we did our part for sustainability. At this time, I'd like to ask both chiefs to come up here along with the mayor. We would like to present a special plaque recognizing this. Mike? and this is for their new facility here. Very important, folks. Very important. I'll present this to the chief. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, I was going to keep my uh, comments short, but uh, the more I thought about it, we're, we're here today uh, more for more than just the dedication of this fire station. Um, it's been uh, two plus years of a lot of work and a lot of projects. It's been a great two years to be here. Again, when you look around and reference has already been made, uh, the remodeling uh, projects, the, the building, the maintenance annex, the, the new fleet of apparatus. And we went back and forth on whether we should have a ceremony every time we, we rolled something out. We thought we would probably wear you people out if we, we did that. It's been such a, a, such a great uh, two years. So we kind of waited. And uh, today's ceremony is not just for, about Station 4. It's, it's a culmination uh, of everything that's gone on. And um, it's already been mentioned, but I want to mention it again about the, the firefighters and the taxpayers uh, and the voters. Because this all starts. Uh, it cannot happen with, without the support uh, of our voters and our taxpayers and the community that gives us the resources that we need to do our job. But I'll take that a step back further is we don't get that support if we don't do our job. And it's, it's kind of a fun circle to be involved in. So um, I want to thank again the, the firefighters and, and understand that the fact that they're out there delivering services to anybody, anytime, anywhere. You call, we come. And there's not too many uh, uh, businesses or agencies that can say that. You call, we come, anytime, anywhere, any place, and we're going to solve your problem or at least act like we're going to solve your problem, at least make your day a little bit better. Um, and because of that, we gain the trust and respect of the voters and the taxpayers. So they are very likely to give us the support and allow us to get the resources that we need so we can deliver even better services to them and gain even more support. And it's, it's a spiral that goes upwards in the right direction. And it's a lot of fun to be a part of. So again, none of this happens without those gentlemen back there in the blue, uh, without the voters and the taxpayers. And I'll take it back even one step further than that because I see a lot of retirees around here out in the crowd. And we always talk to our firefighters that we, 20 years, 30 years seems like a long career, but it's, a, it's just a, a flash in the pan that this fire department started years ago. We are standing on the shoulders of great people that came a long time ago, and it's our responsibility to make sure that we maintain that public trust and respect for the people that are coming after us that are going to be working out of this fire station 43 years from now, okay? So with all that said, um, I'd like to try to, uh, to thank some other people, um, starting off with our firefighters. All these stations, all these remodels, the apparatus, uh, were all done with input from our firefighters because we believe they're the ones that are using the end product uh, to deliver those services so they should have input. So, um, if you've ever been on a committee, or a team, uh, or a family, like we always like to say we are, you're all part of a family, and you know that families uh, have some issues. So when you sit down and start to talk about designing firehouses with six, seven, eight people, uh, everybody has an opinion, and everybody's right. And if you don't, 
if you're not aware, the fire service has a tendency to attract type A personalities, people that are aggressive and, and outgoing and opinionated. So when you get all those people in a room, as Anna found out, working with a group of firefighters to decide on what color the bathrooms are going to be, um, it, it's a long, drawn-out process. But uh, I want to thank everybody that was on the Station 4 committee specifically, and if you were on that committee, please start working your way up to the front here, because we want to we recognize you. Um, kind of leading that team and all those committees, especially with the facilities, it's already been mentioned, Assistant Chief Mark Hashider, uh, one of the most loyal and dedicated city employees, bar none, and, and Mark has done a great job and again trying to balance everybody's uh, opinions and desires and wants and needs um, and working a lot with the contractors on site on a daily basis and making sure things actually happened and, and, and turned out the way they needed to be. So thank you to him as well. Um, the contractors we already, we already thank. They did a great job and it's been an, uh, an enjoyment and a, and a struggle and a challenge sometimes. I did talk with uh, Phil uh, when I saw him today. Uh, I'll go back to one specific meeting that we had uh, a while back and uh, we had uh, a discussion about some things that weren't kind of going exactly well. And he told me that, I reminded him today, he told me that day, he said, Chief, my goal is to make sure that at the end of the project, when it's done, you and your men are all satisfied. And I told him today he made his goal. One quick uh, um, presentation. I'm going to have Anna Kangas come up. Uh, she is the, the city's building uh, official, and she was also involved in the project. Like I said, this was the first time she got to deal with over the last two years on all the uh, all the facility teams. Uh, got a taste of, of firefighters and how great we are and how opinionated we are, uh, and she's done a great job as well. Um, and she has one presentation, and I'm going to have. Randy Sander come up because he's the on-duty captain of the station today. Okay, I just have a really lighthearted presentation. If you've ever driven past their other fire station four on Curry Lane, you'll notice that they have a collection of critters on their front porch, and they have moved them over here to this station, um, but I would also like to present them with another one to add to their collection. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll take a try to <laughs> Okay, with that, um, I'm going to ask our, our chaplain, our senior chaplain, um, Pastor Edison, to come up. Um, we're going to do the ceremony. He's going to do the blessing of the fire station. Um, we, uh, in the fire service, the tradition, now I just found that out today, that the tradition in the airport is to wet down the, the plane as it comes in. I did not know that. In the fire service, uh, instead of a ribbon cutting, we do a hose uncoupling. Uh, so we're going to do that second after Pastor Disson does his blessing. Uh, and I would like and invite all the, the city dignitaries that are here, the firefighters that served on the, uh, on the team, and any of the contractors uh, that want to get involved. We've got 100 feet of hose here. We can make a lot of people uh, stretch out here. Uh, and then another fire service tradition back in the days. Um, and where's Mr. Kraft at? He's a smart man. He's staying warm. For those of you who don't know, uh, Fred Kraft right, right here uh, is always at our fire department uh, ceremonies because Mr. Kraft is the son of the first uh, full-time fire chief in the city, Barney Kraft, uh, who was the fire chief back in the, in the days of the horse-drawn fire apparatus. So in those days, it was tradition that when a new fire truck, new wagon uh, uh, came on the scene, the entire community showed up to look at the, the truck and push it into the fire station for the first time. Um, so today, after we do the hose uncoupling, uh, this is uh, one of the reasons the guys were so excited about getting the firehouse is they're new, everybody else, all the other stations had new apparatus in service. As we, as we said, the new Rescue 4 did not quite fit in the old Curry Lane fire station. And uh, so we said, well, we got to wait until the uh, station is built. 
And if you've ever seen a 16-year-old kid with a new Corvette, but he can't drive it for another month, okay, so um, they were very excited about not only did they get to move into the new firehouse, they finally got to put in service the last piece of the, of the new fleet that's going in service. So we're, again, this is, a, this is the culmination of a lot of, a lot of uh, fun projects over the last two years. So we will, Pastor Disson, come forward and, and bless the station. We'll uncouple the hose, and whoever wants to help push the fire truck into the bay, uh, we'll do that. Thank you, Mr. Graham. As has already been said, we are here this afternoon to dedicate this new fire station for and all of its contents including the firefighters, medics, staff apparatus, and all the implements of firefighting to the glory of God and to the emergency needs of those in Cape and our surrounding area. We want to thank God this afternoon for this great gift to dedicate ourselves to our continued support of our city and our fire department and to pray for God's continued protection of all our firefighters as they give their very best in service to the people of our community. Please join me in prayer then. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, gracious and loving God, we thank you for your great goodness in providing us with our needs of body, soul, and mind. This afternoon, we especially thank you for this new fire station number four, and for those who planned, designed, and built this facility, including the citizens of Cape, who provided the needed financing. We dedicate this new fire station to your glory and to meet the emergency needs of all those living in Cape and even beyond. We are grateful to you for this new fire station, which many firefighters and emergency people will call home when they are stationed here, a place where they can hone their skills here and train to be even better at the work they do so well right now. Help our firefighters to use this facility all the implements of their vocation and the skills and the knowledge with which you have blessed them to bring glory to your name as they serve you and our community with continued honor and distinction. Continue to use our firefighters to save lives, to protect and preserve property, and to serve the people of Cape professionally in their time of need. Protect every man and woman of this fire department and all the support staff as they give their wholehearted devotion to the vocation to which you have called them. We are bold to ask these petitions in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son and our Savior. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. So again, dignitaries, committee members, uh, contractors, please step forward. <clears throat> 